into idioms for idiots. So keep it locked here. We'll be right back. We're back. I'm Steph. I'm the G-Man. And we're show number 27. Yes. The BS Show. BS. And this is Idioms for Idiots. Yay! Hey, one of my favorite and one of our originals that we, that we developed. So now, Alan, please explain to everyone what an idiom okay. is. Idioms for Idiots is like uh, step on a crack, break your mother's back. How does that equate? You know, like last week we had one walls to the walls and we came out with, well, that's not great if you're in prison. So, <laughs> <laughs> you better be a little scared if you've got walls to the walls in prison. Exactly. Unless you're Obama or you're, you're Cuomo, you might enjoy being, you know, that could be. back up the wall, you, you know. talking about Michelle or Michael? Yeah. Michael? Oh, yeah, which one? Which one? We are uh, a Osama or Michael? We don't know. Well, if you, turn them up, if you turn them upside down, what do you got? <laughs> no walls. <laughs> Ball. And we're not talking about tennis balls no, either. No, tennis balls are yellow. They, I, well, they might be yellow, we don't know. <laughs> they could be all stained up. Could be, could be yellow, we never know. Yeah. All right now, so here we go. Idiots for idiots, so yeah. I'm going to start off with number one. Number one. The ship has sailed. Well, the ship has sailed and you missed it, you're in trouble. Uh, I know, I think we might have had a problem, but that's okay. But you don't want to miss a ship, because I almost did in Mexico. And it's not a pleasant thing, believe me. They will leave you there. If you're on a cruise and you miss that ship on board, they will leave you there and they will fly you in at your expense. And you better have your documents wherever you are because you'll be in prison if you don't. That's exactly right, yeah. You know, the ship has sailed. Yeah. Number two, time is money. Time is money. How is time money? You've got a watch on, which I do. Stuff you got a watch on? Yeah, my watch says... It doesn't uh, say money on it, does my, it? Yeah, mine says it's showtime. Yeah, it doesn't say money on no, it. No, mine says it's showtime. And we're looking at a clock where we are, and I don't see anything that says money over there. It's just a clock. Yeah, and it shows uh, Macy's. Matter of fact, we're in front of uh, Macy's. So one o'clock at Macy's. Yeah. So now, yeah. number three, yeah. we see eye to eye. What if we're not the same thing? Then we can't see eye to eye. Right. What if I'm not looking at you? I'm looking at somebody else. And this one doesn't apply. Well, there you go. So it doesn't make sense, does it? No, no none of them. None of them. That's why we do it. <laughs> When it rains, it pours. Well, normally when it rains, it pours. If it's sunny, it normally doesn't pour. I'll give you an example. Last night, raining like hell, right. right? So right. And it poured. My Uber driver says to me, can you go out to the car and get me no, some... No, it's pouring. I know. It's pouring. I said, what part of no do you right. understand? Was it the end or the O? Right. It was pouring. <laughs> so I kind of waited until it was all over. So when it rains, it pours. It ain't pouring on me, baby. Right. It wasn't pouring on me. Number five. Once bitten, twice shot. Well, if you're, if you're bitten once by something, I think you're going to stay away from a dog, a cat, a bear, an elephant. Yeah, I mean... You ain't going to do it again, that's for sure. But if you do, you're as stupid as the day is long. How long is it? It depends on who we're asking about. 44 hours? And there we go! And that... That ringing the bell, that's the gong show. That's, you know why? That's the gong for WMO. Got, got gong. Gong. He got gong. gong yesterday. He got gong yesterday. <laughs> we just gong. Without being on the show, we got gong. We got gong. Matter of fact, the next time you hear that, that bell going off, that'll be the Blasio next. Next. The jerk, as I call it. Number six. There are clouds on the horizon. Well, what do you think you're going to be on the horizon? The sun? The sun's on the horizon? Clouds on the horizon? Yeah, I don't need it. He rolled off into the sunset. Right. He was wow. in the horizon. He was in the horizon with the clouds. Number seven. Take a hike. Take a hike. All right. I love this one. I want to take a ride instead of a hike. I don't want to walk. Take a subway. Take a subway. Take a bus. Take, take a, a hike. So I would say take a hike, Governor Cuomo. Take a take a hike on a take a, 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 a short hike on a long trip. Like, can't get that up there. Just, go out, just go out to that bridge they named after you. Man. Right. Take a hike out take there. Take a hike. <laughs> Lean over the edge. Yeah. Wait, don't take no compass with you. you know? right. Make sure you got some nice shoes on. Yeah, you don't need no tent. You know, you're not right. staying very you're long. Not staying long. It'll be a very short trip, and nobody's going in after you. And nobody's coming to look for you. That's right. And number eight. Yeah. Tough Shitsky. Tough Shitsky. That's Polish. Tough shit. Well, tough Shitsky. I think I think the or guy Russian. who made up that tough Shitsky. We found that Governor Cuomo did all that shit. Yeah, oh, tough, tough shitsky shit now. Right. You're in tough shitsky. You're in now. tough shitsky. <laughs> and don't step in it. You won't get it off your shoes. And here's my favorite one, number nine. This is for Cuomo and uh, De Blasio. 
Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. What color is the towel? Listen, you know about the towel, right? But I lift, I lift my lift story. Yeah, you know? the girl who stole the towel in the car. Yeah. Three times, the same towel. towel. Same towel, that, same exact nice towel. towel. 299 towel from ShopRite. Okay, and I only did it because I got 11 seats in my car and I was driving for a lift. And some guy actually walked in and said, is that my towel? Now, if you didn't walk in the car with a towel, why would you think it's yours? I mean, obviously it's not there. Right, and then I had a person ask me, I'm not gonna send this towel. I said, well, I'll tell you what. The reason why the towel is there, because if you have something in your back seat, and you rip into my seat, you'll be paying for that seat. That's about 500 bucks. It should be a little more expensive than the towel. Than the towel. And, the, and the towel that you're taking right now. So I think you're going to sit on it. If not, I'll give you something else to sit on. Right. Number 10. Yeah, number 10, number 10. Chin music. Chin music. You know, that was big in wrestling. Heartbreak kid. Short Michaels. He used to kick in the, in the chin. That was called chin music. He had that super foot. Or a fiddle. Oh, yeah, a fiddle. He had a deadly kick though. Yeah, heartbreak kid actually met him. Wasn't that big? No, he wasn't a big guy. No, he just had that delusion where you get girls left and right. They'd finally settle down. Actually, I met a girl, I knew a girl who actually was his Jersey thing. But he was in around Asbury Park. Jersey thing in Asbury Park. She worked at a farm section for a while. And he went in there with, uh, who else was there? British Bulldog was there at that time. Navy Boy Smith or somebody else. It was another restaurant. Right? Those was, guys were good, those tag teams. Yeah. Oh, Bam Bam Bigelow was there too. Oh, Bam Bam, he big. Bam Bam was there. No, he wasn't really he that was big. Why? Why? He, he splashed you, you're in trouble. Well, you know, they, they found him in a... Yeah. They found him in a... Uh, yeah. In a motorcycle gang. So... They found him in a motorcycle, in a motorcycle gang. He was real wide. He was the bouncer. Oh, I don't know. He was the enforcer. I think that's where they found, you know, they found Andre in the circus in uh, France. I think they found Kamala Harris in the circus. No, they found her under Willie Brown. Under Willie Brown, yeah. Downtown Willie Brown. Downtown Willie Brown. Yeah. She was on top of him for a little bit, then she was underneath him. So, is that on her resume? Uh, under Harris? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, right? actually got the politics. I mean, really in the politics. He got it to her. So she screwed her way to the top. Screwed her way to the top, yeah. Right. So, for everybody listening, there's hope for you. If you can't do nothing good in life, and you're a female, what you gotta do is just like put it out and you can be president too. And it's a shame that we have to talk this way, but these are part of our, our things. Uh, what else we got now? We're, we're, we're saying you wanna. Uh, you wanna go to silly shit? Alright, you know what? We're gonna go and play some music. When we come back, we're going to do silly shit, not to be confused with silly party. Silly party. You can't put it on your comments and then take it off and see what's on behind it. So here we are. We'll be right back. Back with silly shit, not to be confused with silly party. All right now, shitometer. Let me explain what shitometer is. Yeah, yeah. Tell us. Shitometer goes on on a cold and cold temperature next week, next year. The shitometer breaks the shit. Crazy shit, shit, stupid shit, nutty shit, shitty shit. Well, I, I went to a Home Depot and I had to fix a toilet bowl actually. And I went to go buy one and I'm looking at brands. I go, oh, man, I, I gotta get the caller. You know, got it. Gotta do. Yeah, so I went, I ordered it, I got it. And I said, I like to get a shit, I'm gonna go with it. They said, well, you don't know what it is. It's on back order. So how long? They go, well, you may have to wait a couple of months for it. They're right now in production. So for those of you out there, when you buy your colon toilet, ask for a shitometer. Ask for a shitometer, and uh, you'll be glad that you did. Your shit. 